We're going to turn now to the heated confirmation hearings underway for President Biden's historic Supreme Court nominee, Judge Ketanji Brown Jackson. Judge Jackson defending her record today against accusations from Republicans that she's been soft on child sex offenders, saying, quote, nothing could be further from the truth. She was also pressed on defending detainees at Guantanamo Bay. She was questioned about critical race theory, about children's books, and how she answered. Rachel Scott on the Hill tonight. On Capitol Hill today, Judge Katanji Brown Jackson defending her record against Republican accusations she soft on crime. What do you say to people who say you're soft on crime or even anti law enforcement because you accepted your duties as a public defender? As someone who has had family members on patrol and in the line of fire, I care deeply about public safety. I know what it's like to have loved ones who go off to protect and to serve, and the fear of not knowing whether or not they're going to come home again. She pushed back against accusations. She handed down light sentences for people convicted of possessing child pornography. As a mother and a judge who has had to deal with these cases, I was thinking that nothing could be further from the truth. And in every case, when I am dealing with something like this, it is important to me to make sure that the children's perspective, the children's voices are represented in my sentencing. Republicans pressing Jackson, the first former public defender nominated to the high court, about her defense of terror suspects in Guantanamo Bay. Did you ever accuse in one of your habeas petitions the government of acting as war criminals for holding the detainees, that, I'm, that I'm, the holding of the detainees by, by our government, that we were acting as war criminals? Senator, I don't remember that accusation. Why in the world would you call Secretary of Defense Rumsfeld and George W. Bush war criminals? in a legal filing. It seems so out of character for you. Well, Senator, I don't remember that particular reference and I um, was representing my clients and making arguments. In the case in question, Jackson did not, in fact, call the American government war criminals. She wrote that the alleged torture and other inhumane treatment in Guantanamo Bay constitute war crimes and or crimes against humanity. Senator Cruz. Republican Senator Ted Cruz then grilling Jackson, the first black woman nominated to the high court, about critical race theory. That views every conflict as, as a racial conflict. Um, do you think that's an accurate way of viewing society and the world we live in? Senator, I don't think so, um, but I've never studied critical race theory and I've never used it. Cruz then reading from a children's book called Anti-Racist Baby taught at the school Jackson's teenage daughter attends, where the judge sits on the board. Do you agree with this book that is being taught with kids that, that babies are racist? Senator. I do not believe that any child should be made to feel as though they are racist or though they are not valued or though they are less than. Cruz asking Jackson about one children's book after another. The judge exasperated. Senator, I have not reviewed any of those books, any of those ideas. They don't come up in my work as a judge, which I'm respectfully here to address. On abortion, Jackson making her position clear. Roe and Casey are the settled law of the Supreme Court concerning the right to terminate a woman's pregnancy. The first day of questioning, Rachel Scott live on the Hill tonight. How many more days of questioning for Judge Jackson? And bottom line, Rachel, Democrats uh, have enough votes to confirm her. Of course, the question, will she have any Republican support as she has had in the past? 
Well, David, Judge Jackson faces one more full day of questioning tomorrow. And of course, three Republicans supported her confirmation to the D.C. Circuit, including Republican Senator Lindsey Graham. But tonight, Graham storming out of that hearing room, growing frustrated. He told reporters on the way out that he sees red flags. It's a sign he may not support her confirmation this time around. David. Rachel Scott watching it all from the Hill tonight. Rachel, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.